Alright guys, good morning and welcome back to another session of roaming around in Rome. We're here in another pretty big field, although right over here is something else. This is the Frost Church. It's really all I know right now. No, Frost Chapel. It's called the Frost Chapel. But I think we're gonna go in. It's really old and it's here in Rome. We're actually on the grounds of Barry College right now. This is one of the largest like grounds for college in all of the world. Maybe not Hogwarts, but it's close. So let's go inside. We just started out down there. We walked up this little super cool pathway and up here to the Frost Chapel. And now we're gonna go inside. It's really cool. It's really old. This chapel dedicated to the memory of John Laverance Frost. Erected 1937. Look at this, this door. Here we go. Oh, oh wait, we won't have to do that. It does it automatically. This looks pretty cool in here. This is amazing. This place is pretty cool. You can smell, ah, oh, you can smell the oak in these pews and the ceiling. That's all oak or at least some sort of wood, but man, it's huge. Can you even see that up there? It sounds amazing in here. The echo and just the ambiance. Now I don't know too many facts about this place. I just know that it's it's really old and it's just really cool. And you see they have these, you know, traditional beautiful stained glass windows up here. And then they've got the cool leaded glass windows on the side as well. Yeah, see these are really cool here. This is real. This is real. This is not fake. We're gonna go out the side way and look out this way. Nice. Everything is just so real. Like, it's old and real. We're so used to Disney where it's, you know, it's still cool, but it's usually fabricated um, to look old. But this is authentic. This is authentically old. Okay, so Frost Chapel right here. Here we go. Some specs, specs, stats. Completed 1937. Well, that's it. That's pretty much it. But look, it's really cool. There's supposed to be a lot of really neat things like this here on the Barry College grounds, and we're gonna visit a few of them today. And I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna bring you guys along so you can see it, and also so we can watch this again, and remember it. But anywho. Here we go. Some may call that inspirational. Something like that on the Jungle Cruise, Magic Kingdom, USA. This is the old mill. This is Barry School's old mill right here. Constructed 1930. So it looks like students actually used it to produce cornmeal. 42 feet in diameter, the, the wheel, the water wheel, 42 feet in diameter. It's one of the nation's largest overshot water wheels. It is huge. Look at that thing. Let's walk over to this old mill. Wow, look at that. Man, it is really big. All these old stones here. It's the iron hub at the wheel center, given to Barry by the Republic Mining and Manufacturing Company to Joseph Thomas Waters. His name was Waters, and this is a water wheel. Coincidence? Yeah. You can see some inner workings of the gears and everything that goes in here to the inside that goes to I guess the the grist or whatever they call that oh here's one of the grist wheels right here that they would use to crunch to mash up the uh, to mash up the cornmeal there's the iron hub there's the iron hub we were talking about so it's an overshot wheel, 
Which means what? I don't know. I guess it's called an overshot because the water comes from the top, but I don't know how it gets up there. One of the other many things to see, historic buildings to see here at Berry College. The old mill? And this is the other side of of the water, I guess, as it comes from the mill. Comes from the mill, goes down this way. On. Back through the forest. Off it goes. It's pretty peaceful. Alright, so we took a little pit stop from the history to find some new things. Not just old. They got old and new things here. You got your foam fingers. Be number one, if you want. Put them together. Be number two. Yeah, number two. Just in case. Don't want to set the bar too high. And of course, since you're on a college campus, you gotta have Starbucks. Hey guys, got our Starbucks, so we're totally colleged out right now, walking around a college campus, drinking Starbucks. That's what you do at college, right? 1902, 1902 is when this place started up, Berry College by Martha Berry. Actually, this year, she would have turned 142 years old, I believe it is. There's a road here. This is the gate of opportunity, where basically, like, people could come in, they would have five bucks, right? And they could be admitted into the school coming down this gate of opportunity here. They could have five bucks, get in, but then they could work off their tuitions by doing work out in the fields and whatever around the campuses and stuff. But that's, that's pretty cool. It looks really neat. Check it out. Opportunity! And as we walk down the gate of opportunity, we come across some of these college kids here. You guys going to school here? What are you studying? You like it? No? Are you on the football team? I hear they're doing pretty good. Go Vikings, right? You guys? Yeah? Vikings? You on the you on the team? Just want to show this because look how beautiful it is. The grounds are just they're just beautiful. I know some of the students back there, they weren't very talkative and I mean other than that everything has been really nice here. It's really good. Next up by these big old columns here. This is the Hoag building, or Hoagie building. Don't come in here looking for a sandwich. You won't find that in here. Now this building here was built in 1905 by the students to replace a building that had burned, the old whitewashed uh, schoolhouse building that burned down. In 1910, this building was where President Theodore Roosevelt gave a speech to the students here. Right up here, Theodore Roosevelt. Right there, Teddy. Theodore Roosevelt, he seems to have been very fond of uh, Martha Berry because she was doing a lot of good things for students and, and kids and, you know, just people in general. Teddy Roosevelt. Right there. Martha Berry. This is her college. This is her place. She was known as a spinster, which is like, a, I guess, a lady who's got lots of money, who never marries or anything like that, but just does good things for, for people. Did you know? Because we didn't know. She's actually still here. 142 years old? 142 years old. Sleeping. Right here. She might not be sleeping. She might just be resting. 1866. And actually, October 7th. So she just turned 142. That's crazy. Right above her grave here, they got a light. A light going. This is like 
proverbial lantern. So they're saying in 1902, she lighted the flame. She lit the flame. She lighted. She lit the flame of learning with the distinctive educational program. And that flame of knowledge continues to burn brightly today. Right there. New technology LED flames. She's buried underneath this giant pecan tree. It's pretty huge. And also, right outside of the chapel here. This is the chapel building. Let's walk to the front. This is the chapel where she's buried out, outside of. Buildings like this are just like, I don't, I don't even know, they're just really cool. Ah, it's really cool. Really neat. Towers that go way up. It's really nice steps. And they go up to the cool marble entranceway. Walking around this campus, it's like, it's so beautiful. So beautiful, it, it looks like, I mean, it feels like we're on a movie set or something. It just looks too perfect. Like the lighting, the trees, the birds. That's probably just some fake soundtrack, right? The sunlight, I mean, the buildings, the walkways. Look at these walkways. I guess it's not just me because there's a lot of movies that have been filmed here. You know, Remember the Titans, that was done here. Sweet Home Alabama, that was done at one of the other little offsite areas. Constantine, that was, a movie that was done on some of the at some of the buildings and grounds here. I can see why, because it is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Just, just look at this. Looks like a movie scene right here, with the lighting. There's, there should be some actors talking about some stuff right there on that bench. We're walking up to more, I, I think of the old buildings. They look pretty old here, and historic. East Mary Hall and West Mary Hall. We're gonna walk over to the reflection. I guess it's just called a reflection pool. Take a look at what we're walking into. Now is that not cool? We're going to the cool pool. Got my cool shades on. But we're just gonna go check out this reflection pool to see some reflections. Gonna reflect on some things. Enough, James. God. And this is why they called us the reflection pond. Look at that reflection. Oh, look at that reveal. What a, what a beautiful scene. Walking by this reflection pond. It looks really nice. Like the water looks really good and cool. Like it would feel good to go into. Look, look over here. Look at these things. All these things that are cool looking around us. Real, real things. Ooh, look at this. This looks like the Haunted Mansion oh, yeah. archway. Doesn't that look like the Haunted Mansion archway? Haunted Mansion doesn't have these steps like this, though. Ooh. This is definitely reminding me more and more of Hogwarts. It is. This is definitely... Too much like a movie. It's just too much like a movie. It just looks like a movie set, except in real life. It's a beautiful estate. Martha Berry, we were talking earlier how she was a, you know, an older lady who, you know, never married. She never settled down. But that doesn't mean she didn't have love in her life. There was another gentleman who came along. It's Henry. Henry Ford, and there's actually some buildings here on grounds that are, they're actually called the Ford Buildings. It's pretty much commonly known that her and Mr. Ford were like that. You won't find that written anywhere uh, as an official fact of life. She had a little side job, if you know what I mean, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But that's pretty interesting. And thus you'll find on these grounds the Ford Buildings. Man, I tell you what, this uh, sun, the sun is pretty hot. Only there was a little place where we could find some shade, maybe sit down and relax. That'd be pretty all right. Yeah. <sighs> kind of like this. Don't even need my shades in here. It's cool enough without them. Although, put these things on, no one can see that your eyes are closed. Take yourself a little nap.
throwing acorns. All right, I'm out. I don't feel welcome. I just had an acorn thrown at me back there by something. It's not the first one of the day, I've noticed. Doing a little more research. There's a lot of ghosts here. A lot of ghost stories. Where there's ghost stories, there's ghosts. One of them called the Green Lantern Lady. JR, you want to come in for this one? The Green Lantern Lady. There's a road back here. A long time ago, I guess she used to walk up and down the road. She had a green lantern. She got hit by a car and killed. But now, she still roams the roads here in Rome. She still has her green lantern. And at night, when you're driving along these roads, watch out, she might stop you. She's been known to stop cars and get you. But not only that, there's a library here that's got a painting of her. She's been known to haunt that painting. Whatever that means. Barry College. All right, guys, that's it for a little walk around here at Hogwarts. Barry College? Barry College, here in Rome, Georgia. If you have a chance to come out here and visit, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's amazing. Like the, the architecture, the buildings, the grounds, amazing things here. But, anyways, that's it for us. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. But as far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool. Thank you.